How epic would it be if you can take the internet data from this phone and combine it with the internet data from this phone and kind of force them together to make a faster connection? Turns out you can, and I'm going to show you how. Hey, welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Today we're going to talk about channel bonding, which is how you take two separate internet connections and mush them together to give you a nice fast internet connection. Think of it this way, you're driving on a single lane, everything is fine, no cars in front of you, you're cruising along. Then more and more cars join that single lane, what do you do? You have to slow down. Now imagine another lane immediately opens up next to you. What do you do as a driver? You pick the fastest lane. You go into the left lane, the right lane, as you make your way towards your destination. That is what channel bonding is. It's two separate connections spliced together and your data can make decisions. It says, hey, this lane is congested. I'm gonna use the other lane. I'm gonna go back into that first lane. And between them, it finds the fastest route to give you that data and therefore that faster internet. So how do we do this channel bonding things on our two phones? Well, firstly, you have to download an app which is in the description below, but hold on before you do that, so Speedify is essentially a VPN allow you to get that fast internet because of the way they do their bonding and allows you to get that internet security. It will also work on your Mac, your Windows, your Android, your iOS devices, your LAN, your Wi-Fi. You can bond all that stuff together to give you that massive nice pipe. Of course, you're going to get the most out of this if you're on various service providers. So if your one phone is on T-Mobile and your another phone is on Verizon, for example, then you really take advantage of that good network. Okay, so how does this all work? How does it all fit together? Well, let me show you. All right, let's start with phone number one. This is the phone that we're going to create the Wi-Fi hotspot. Now, no software needs to be installed here. Simply use the default software that comes with your phone under your network and internet. Go find the Wi-Fi hotspot and simply enable that. Okay, phone number two. This is the phone that you're going to connect to phone number one. And you're going to do that by going to your normal Wi-Fi setting, find the hotspot that you've just created and simply connect. Now the phones are linked to each other. Now on this particular phone, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your mobile data is still enabled. So you've got the hotspot connected and you've got the mobile data. Now go and find the Speedify app and this is where you run it. Now on the app at the top, you're going to see a couple of bubbles depending on how many connections you have. They're all gray, which is perfectly fine. What I want to show you is you click on my T-Mobile, this is my service provider. Obviously yours might be different. What I'm looking for is the priority. Now the priority is essentially what gets preference. Do I want to use my Wi-Fi as the preference? Do I want to use my mobile data as the preference? And there's a little explanation at the bottom telling you what everything is. I set mine to primary because I have an unlimited data package. So I'm okay, but I get a little warning to say, hey, you're going to use a lot of data. Now, if you use a data package that's capped, you can actually set a limit as well. Okay, now that I've got that all set up, what I want to do is I want to go back to the main screen. And now I click the little cog. And this is where the setting is. And now you have the option to select which server you want to connect to. I just leave it as the faster server, which kind of makes the most sense. As we scroll down, what I want you to look at is something called bonding. Now bonding is that connectivity, those lanes that we were talking about early. And here I have options. I can say streaming is recommended, where, or I can set it to speed. Now, if you're doing lots of voice calls, lots of Zoom meetings, then obviously you'll set it to streaming. If you're doing anything else, then I want it for faster speed. Now, I enable that. Now, watch those bubbles at the top. Bang, look how they change color, which means now those two connections are now bonded together. Now I have them working in unison. So whatever I do on my phone, I don't just use my one connection, but I use both connections. Let's actually test the speed test here. Now I'm going to fast forward this bit. Obviously it doesn't work this quickly. I wish it did. But now I'm going to show you that the Wi-Fi download speed and the upload speed, the T-Mobile, my service provider, the download speed, the upload speed, and then what happens when they are combined? What kind of data do we get? And here's the final result. When I combine them together, I get a download speed of 23.7 megabits per second, an upload speed of 7.4 megabits per second. 
see how the bonding actually works and gives me the fastest route to get the most out of my data. Let me know if you want to see more videos on how to bond your computers with the Wi-Fi and get that faster pipe. Let me know in the comments. Check out these video tips and tricks on how to get faster Wi-Fi down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.